retrofitting our UK homes, switching from burning oil and gas for heating to a more efficient, sustainable solution is vital to reaching our net zero targets. Today, I've come to this family home in Norfolk to find out how they've stopped using oil and changed to EcoDan. Gloria and her husband, Les, have lived here for over 30 years. Hi, Gloria. Morning, George. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Beautiful day for it. It certainly is. Can I come in? Would you like to come in? Yes. Thank you very much. Gloria, thank you for having me at your house today. You're welcome. Tell me a little bit about the property. Um, it's a four-bedroom detached house that we built ourselves, and it sits on the site where my grandparents used to live. And you're in a very remote spot. Yes. I'm assuming that you're off gas around here. Yes, we are off gas. There is, There are no mains gas supplies in the village. So what was your source of heating? Um, we chose oil-fired uh, central heating and we also installed a wood burner. And tell me a little bit about your oil system, how much were you using roughly? Well, we had a 2,700 litre tank that we filled up possibly every 18 months and after 25 years the boiler itself was getting a bit tired. I'm not surprised after 25 years. Yes. <laughs> it'll have been fairly inefficient and some fairly tired parts in there. Yes, yes. Now with oil prices absolutely going through the roof, yes. it would have cost you a lot more today than yes. three years ago to fill your tank. Yes, I think we did a quick calculation just recently, not very precise, I must admit, but I think it would probably be in the region of about £4,000 now. Which is frightening. It is. Absolutely exactly. frightening. So instead of doing an upgrade to yes. a new oil-fired boiler, yes. you decided to change your entire system. We did. And that was a few years ago because yes. you've made the switch to yes. EcoDan. We have, yes. Why did you do that? Well, basically to help the environment and find a more sustainable heating source. And we had friends who had installed an EcoDan, so on their recommendation we thought we'd go for it. And which installer did you use? Our friends recommended DA Cook Heating. I understand he's a Mitsubishi Electric top accredited installer. And you were pleased? Yes, very happy with his work and the installation. Excellent. And whereabouts is the unit, your EcoDan unit? It's just outside my kitchen window. We don't know it's there, you never hear it. And what's it like living with EcoDan? Fine, no problems. We just leave it switched on, let it do its thing. We can change the temperature if we wish. We have thermostat, which is normally at 20 degrees, but you can increase or decrease as you wish. And do you still use your wood burning stove? No, we have to say, since EcoDan has been installed, we've not had to use it. And did you have to change your existing radiators and pipe work? Um, not the pipe work. We decided, as the radiators were quite ancient as well, we thought we'd help have all new radiators. You must be thrilled that you're not burning so much fossil fuel anymore. Yes, we're delighted, obviously. And we've also uh, installed solar panels. Where are your solar panels? We have those on the garage roof. So you've had a major retrofit upgrade. We have. Solar panels and eco dam. Yes. Which is fabulous. Well, just to make you feel even better, Mitsubishi Electric have done a calculation since you've had your system installed three years ago and you saved 15 tonnes of CO2 emissions. That's absolutely incredible. Which is amazing, actually. It well is. done, you. And yeah. well done for putting solar panels on as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, my daughter will be pleased with the um, emission saving because uh, she saw our EcoDan installation and she's actually had one installed herself. So you've been inspired by friends who had an EcoDan. Yes. You've had your EcoDan installation done. Yes. And now your daughter's been inspired by you. Yes. That's fantastic. Well, I'm going to have to meet her. She lived just around the corner, so... Well, that makes life easy. <laughs> yes, it does. Thanks very much for today. You're welcome. Gloria's daughter, Emma, lives with her husband, Matt, and daughter, Chloe. Hi, George. How are you? Hi, Emma. Nice to see you. Nice did your mum tell you I was popping around? She did, yes. Yeah. Good. Can I come in? Of course you can. Come through. Emma, thanks for having me at your house. So you made the step to Eco Dan because of your mum and dad. How did that all come about? We were looking to renovate our kitchen um, recently and part of that was to create more space and move our oil-fired boiler. So, so it's physically taken space in the kitchen? Yeah, so we've managed to gain big cupboard space, as it were, to remove that. So we were looking at options there and obviously mum and dad having an air source heat pump was a, a direct route, basically. You know, they had recommended the system, um, were really pleased with it. I think they'd had it for a couple of years by that point. So. 
we'd kind of known what it was like in the summer, in the winter, you know, all that feedback. Plus they were able to recommend a, a good installer. So you got rid of the oil boiler from inside. Yes, Gave thank you goodness. some space back in the kitchen that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And you've got your Ecodan unit outside tucked around the corner. You've gained a bit of space in your garden because the oil tank's gone. Yes, yeah, That's pretty definitely. good. And what about planning permission for the Ecodan unit? No, not at all, thank goodness. So there's no lengthy process. It's um, allowed under permitted developments. So as soon as we'd made the decision, we could get in touch with the installer and uh, start work when they were ready. And obviously you've got a fairly new built house. Yep. Did you have to upgrade the radiators or any pipe work because of the new system? No, luckily, like you say, the house is newer than perhaps mum and dad. So when the installers came in, they obviously assessed all of that, looked at the existing pipe work and radiators. And yeah, obviously it was absolutely fine to use with the new system. So just had the new tank and the new air source heat pump and that was it. Yeah. And you're also looking at the house is well insulated Yes, yeah. and it's got double glazing in there already so the yeah. thermal performance is already pretty good yeah. which is perfect for any good and system to be installed. It is, apparently it's kind of optimal um, you know, setting as it were, having that kind of insulation and, and double glazing means that once the house gets to the desired temperature, um, you know, 20, 21, whatever, it will easily stay there without having to make the air source heat pump work harder. So again, it saves energy and saves energy bills. And you've got a smaller unit than what your parents have got, haven't you? Yeah, so again, as part of the assessment, when the installers came in, they obviously measure the room sizes, understand how big the capacity is in the house. Yeah, so I think ours is um, smaller at five kilowatts and theirs is a bigger 8.5 unit. So obviously being a bigger house and to heat. And you also think with a relatively new built house, you should have some new technology in there to heat your house. <laughs> you should, Not yeah. oil. No, I was going to say, it's just a, a really horrid thought to have, you know, have to fill up a big oil tank every year and have, you know, such a dirty energy source, really, if, uh, you, when you start thinking about it. When you have something like an air source heat pump, which is, you know, so much cleaner and quieter and, you know, hasn't impacted anyone to to bring that energy to your house, basically, yeah. So. And what's it like living with an Ecodan air source heat pump? Be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's, it's really good. So we've got no regrets at all, definitely. The installer is good, technology is good. So how much money do you think you're saving? with the new system compared to the oil system? Looking at now, with oil prices having um, increased dramatically recently, we've worked out we're probably saving about £70 a month, which is, you know, absolutely amazing. It's more than we'd hoped for. It's Part, a big saving, It now. is huge, yeah. It's a really big saving. It's over 800 quid a year. I know, yeah. So it's, we're really thankful, really, that we've changed and managed to change at the right time, I think, to, to make that saving. But I think they're just going up anyway, oil prices, so it's just a year on year we're going to be making those savings, which is nice to know. So why have you done this? Um, I mean, main reason is obviously we've got a young daughter, so she's passionate already, um, even at seven, about the environment. So for us, it's making that greener choice for future generations. Well, to make you feel even better about your new system, Mitsubishi Electric have calculated that your Ecodan system over its lifetime will save about the equivalent carbon of 10 oil-fired boilers. That's amazing. We knew we were making a difference, but to make such a difference is brilliant, yeah. And you're saving a few quid along the way. Yes, <laughs> which is even better, yeah. Fantastic. The countdown to end the use of fossil fuels for home heating has begun. We've seen our energy bills skyrocket and they're set to rise even higher. So investing in energy efficient home heating has never been more important. More and more UK homeowners like Gloria and Emma are making the switch to heat pumps. This proven technology will help us end our dependence on expensive fossil fuels. Heating your home shouldn't cost the earth and with Ecodan, it doesn't have to. To find out more information about heating your home with Ecodan, visit their website at ecodan.co.uk.